Hello everyone. أهلا وسهلا بطلاب الصف الخامس الابتدائي with the science lessons تحت رعاية توي شراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Today we're going to make a revision. هنعمل revision على آخر lesson عندنا which is the types and properties of the soil. نفتكر سواء إيه هما ال types ونفتكر سواء برضو كل ال properties بتاعت كل type فيهم وبعد كده ناخد questions. So let's start our revision. The first thing on our revision, تعالوا نفتكر الأول the types of the soil. Types of the soil عندنا. What are the types of soil? Three types, which are sand, silt, and clay. They are the three types that we have in here. طيب أول حاجة عايزين نعرفها دلوقتي definition بتاع كل واحد. تعالوا نفتكر definition of each one of them. The sand soil. The sand soil is composed mainly of sand particles, itany, and small amounts of clay and silt, and rarely contains humus. With humus, it's very rare. Very rare. We agreed. Okay. The second type, which is the silt soil. Silt soil is composed of mixture. We agreed on the silt mixture. Mixture of equal amounts. The silt soil is composed of a mixture of equal amounts of gravel, sand. Clay, silt, and more humus. Okay. We have now already learned the sand and the silt. Can you remember the definition of the clay soil? The clay soil is composed mainly of clay and silt. It's composed mainly of clay and silt in small amounts of sand and humus. We have now already learned the definition of each one of them: the sand soil, silt soil, and clay soil. Now, let's now see the properties of the each one of them, the properties of the different types of soil. The next we're going to talk about properties of the sand soil. We're going to think about all the properties of the sand soil. We have six properties, so let's start with the first one. The first property, which is the color. What is the color of the sand? Yellow. Type property number two, the the particles size. How many particles can if the sand soil can large? Type. The third one, the compactness. The compactness of sand is found in here. It's weakly compacted. If we understand the compactness here, weak. Type number four, the aeration and water absorption. Aeration, the air spaces that are present. Of course, there are air spaces that are present. They are weak compacted. They are weak compacted. They are considered to be well aerated. So here, the aeration is well aerated soil. So it has a the lowest absorption of water. We found that the absorption acts the aeration. If we have the well aeration, we have here the soil. The absorption of the water will be the least amount. So the lowest absorption of water. Property number five, which is the drainage of water. Drainage of water. We found that the sand soil is the fastest one. Faster soil. The water that it moves in is the sand. So here it is the fastest one. Property number six, which is the fertility. Fertility, we found that the fertility depends on the amount of humus, على كمية الهيومس اللي موجودة في السويل. طب عندنا السand in the definition rarely contains humus. يعني الهيومس قليل جدا. فهنقول هنا اللي هي إيه low and fertile. قليل جدا. طيب إحنا كده دلوقتي افتكرنا the all six properties of the sand soil: the color, the particle size, compactness, the aeration, water absorption, and drainage. وآخر حاجة the fertility. طب تعالوا ناخد نفس الكلام بس بالنسبة للسلط والكلي. The salt soil. Number one, what is the color of the salt? Gray. طيب والكل particle size. حجم السلط soil the particles بتاعت السلط soil تفعلنا إن السلط medium. Medium في كل حاجة ما عدا ال fertility. بتعالوا دلوقتي نشوفها. يبقى هنا the particle size it's a medium. Number three, the compactness, also medium or moderately compacted. Number four, the aeration and water absorption, the fan here medium. 
الايريشن ميديم يبقى برضه الووتر ابسوربشن ميديم يبقى هنا مودريتلي ايريتد سويل سو ميديم سو ميديم ان ايه ان ووتر ابسوربشن نمبر 5 the drainage of water also medium فاكرين الاكتيفيتي لما جبنا ال3 تايبس اوف سويل الساند والسلت والكلاي ولقينا ان دايما السلت بيكون ميديم يبقى عندنا هنا drainage of water medium طيب now number 6 which is the fertility the fertility which is depend on the amount of humus مين اصلا الديفينيشن بتاع السلت سويل اتفقنا ان السلت سويل عنده ايه contains more humus يعني humus كتير يبقى هنا هنقول عليه ايه High in the fertility, in the عنده large amount of humus. عنده كمية كبيرة من الهومس. يبقى هنا high fertility. طيب. يبقى احنا كده افتكرنا the properties of the silt soil. طب تعالوا دلوقتي نشوف the properties of the clay soil. Clay soil. أول حاجة. What its color? لونها ايه? Dark or black? طيب. Number two. The particle size. حجم ال clay كان ايه? تفعنا ان ال sand large, silt medium. Will clay small? Type number three, the compactness. The compactness of clay, the fact that it's the highest thing, it's highly compacted. If the little sand can't weak, silt medium, will clay highly compacted? Number four, aeration and water absorption. Aeration and water absorption. الايريشن هو بورلي ايريتد ما فيهوش هواء كتير ليه ما فيهوش هواء كتير لان هو هايلي كومباكتد متماسك جدا فكميه الهواء اللي موجوده جوه قليله يبقى عندنا هنا الايريشن اتس بورلي ايريتد سويل طب وات اباوت ذا ووتر ابسوربشن اتس ذا هايست ابسوربشن اوف ووتر اعلى واحد في الابسوربشن طيب نمبر 5 which is drainage of water drainage of water this lowest one لما لما جبنا الاكتيفيتي وجبنا ال3 سلندرز وحطينا الفانل عليها وحطينا كل واحده فيهم سويل وحطينا بعد كده الووتر لقينا ان الساند عدى كتير قوي هي فاستست وان السلت ميديوم والكلاي الميه اللي قدرت تعدي كانت قليله جدا يبقى هنا ايه ذا سلوست اتس ذا سلوست سويل ان ذا درينج اوف ووتر طيب وات اباوت ذا فيرتيلتي ذا فيرتيلتي اتس ميديوم او هنقول فيرتيل يبقى عندنا انهي اللي كان اعلى حاجه في الفيرتيلتي سلت the lowest one the sand and the medium or fertile it's the clay soil طب احنا كده نكون عملنا ريفيجن افتكرنا سوا كل البروبرتيز بتاعت الساند والسلت والكلاي سويل طب فاضل دلوقتي نفتكر البلانتس what are the plants that suitable for each one of them suitable to be planted in each one of them هنعمل دلوقتي comparison ما بين كل واحد فيهم according to the suitable plants. Okay, sand, the suitable plants for the sand, potato, sweet potatoes, peanut, and cactus. They are the planets, the examples of the plants that are suitable for the sand soil. Silt, strawberry, lemon, pomegranate, and oranges. The examples of the silt. But what about the clay? Clay, they are cotton, rice, sugar cane, wheat, and other vegetables, and many other vegetables also. We have now remembered the plants that are suitable for each soil, for the sand, silt, and clay soil. And the last thing we have is the soil pollution. What is the soil pollution? We have the pesticides. ممكن كمان the industrial wastes and the chemical fertilizers ده كانت اخر حاجة موجودة في اللسن يبقى احنا كده خلصنا اول فيجن افتكرنا the three types of the soil which are sand, silt and clay عرفنا the definition of each one of them وعرفنا الفرق ما بينهم وبعد كده عرفنا the properties the six properties of each one of them the color, the compactness, the size of the particle aeration and water absorption, drainage of water, وآخر حاجة, the fertility. طبعاً, fertility depends on the amount of humus. وكمان عرفنا the suitable plants for each one of them. So now, let's go and take some questions about what we have make revision on it. So let's go. So let's start our questions. Question number one, complete the following. Which soil is highly fertile and because it contains large amounts of what? The final large, or the fertile, it's the silt soil. 
silt soil is highly fertile because it contains large amounts of humus. Fertility, the fertile depends on the amount of the humus. طيب. Question number two. Clay soil holds at the air water and which soil holds less water? The clay soil holds more water and the sand soil holds less water. The retention of the sand is not easy. The drainage is the fastest one. Okay, the size of the particles of the clay soil. The clay soil, the size of the particles, large, medium, or small. The clay, it was small in size. Another one, right or wrong. The compactness of silt soil is medium. The silt soil medium? Yes, true. Another one. Fruit trees are cultivated in the sand soil. Benizra, the fruit trees feel the sand. Taban wrong in the silt soil. Another one. Choose the correct answer. The aeration of sand soil is good, bad, medium, or poor. Aeration, يعني the air spaces اللي موجودة في السand وتفعنا إن السand weakly compacted ففيها هواء كتير يبقى هنا إيه good. يبقى هنا the aeration of sand soil is good. Now, which plant is plant that grows in the clay soil? Rice, potato, peanut, or sweet potato? طبعاً هنختار ال rice لأن potato, peanut, وال peanut, وال sweet potato كلهم في sand soil وهنا بيسأل عن clay soil. Another one, match between the two columns, potatoes. Which one? The potatoes with zirafin cultivated in the sand soil. Type. What about the orange tree? The orange tree in the silt soil. And the cotton in the clay soil. Now, another one. Correct the underlying word. Cotton is cultivated in the sand soil as it needs a fertile soil. The cotton in the sand soil it rarely contains humus. طبعاً إيه؟ نو طب مش الساند هيكون إيه؟ دي كلاي سويل يبقى الكوتن دي كلاي سويل Another one Right on topic term A soil which has a black color and small granules and it's more compacted إيه اللي لونه black? Small granules يعني size بتاعته صغيرة size of the particles and more compacted يعني highly compacted Which is soil? The clay soil Another question, also right in the term. A type of soil in which potatoes, sweet potatoes, and cactus can grow. In the sand, silt, or clay, for sure the sand soil. Another one, the well aerated soil. Well aerated soil, and the air spaces here, and how we compacted the sand soil. The highly fertile soil, which contains a large amount of humus, the sand, well, the silt, well, the clay, and the humus, the silt soil. Now, look at the figure, then complete. Wheat plant grows in which soil? The wheat plant. Sand, well, the silt, well, the clay. Michel sand, the silt, well, the clay, the clay soil. The wheat plant grows in the clay soil. Now, what is meant by the fertility of soil? يعني fertility, the amount of humus. يبقى it's the amount of humus in the soil which makes it suitable for cultivation. يبقى تخليها مناسبة لي عشان نقدر نزرع ال plants. طيب, another one. What is meant by also? The sand soil. يعني إيه sand soil? Definition. هي عبارة عن إيه? It is the soil which, which is composed mainly of sand particles, Small amount of clay and silt and rarely contains humus. Now, give reason for The water level in the clay soil is higher than the water level in both sand and silt. Lee water level fill clay soil octor minil sand we il silt. Tafana hina nihna il absorption awil hina il water level. 
كان بسبب الابسوربشن وهنفكر على طول على الايريشن يبقى هنا لي كان هاير عشان هو بورلي ايريتد يبقى هنا بيكوز كلاي سويل از بورلي ايريتد اند مور كومباكتد كومبير تو ذا ساند اند سيلت سويل ليه الووتر ليفل كتير يعني الابسوربشن كتير لان هو بورلي ايريتد وهايلي كومباكتد another give reason the sand soil is well aerated ليه sand soil is well aerated sand soil is well aerated عشان هو ايه weakly compacted مش متماسك ففي air spaces كتير ما بين ال particles بتاعت ال sand فنقول عليه well aerated يبقى the sand soil is well aerated why because the sand soil is weakly compacted okay طيب كده نكون خلصنا ال questions يبقى احنا دلوقتي عرفنا The three types of soil: sand, silt, and clay. We found also the properties of each one of them. We found the color, the size of the particles, the compactness. We found also the drainage of water, the aeration, the water absorption, and the fertility. We found the properties. And the last thing we found was the plants that are suitable for each one of them to be cultivated: the sand, the silt, and the clay. خدنا questions على lesson ده وكده نكون خلصنا revision عندنا for the last lesson you have which is types and properties of the soil lesson 2 and unit 3 وكده نكون خلصنا النهاردة revision thank you for your watching and listening see you next time and goodbye